Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and well, we have a very specific mission, okay? We are gonna catch up on all the latest merch because there's been a lot. There's been a lot of new merch that's come out and so we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna hunt it down. So come along with me, let's hang out and yeah, let's do this. We're starting off at the Emporium inside of Disneyland and I see that they already have new Oswald merchandise and I feel like this is appropriate because I'm wearing my Oswald ears and check this out. So this is a men's shirt and it's like a jersey, which is really cool. It has the collar right here. It has a red and black striped insert that's like a rib material. And then this is definitely like that very slick, very, ooh, there's a print on the back. Very slick, very like athletic material that would definitely snag, just be warned about that. Oswald is embroidered, this part is printed. Let's see, the printing is a little bit thick by the way too. And then, oh my gosh, yes, I love this. There's Oswald on the back and yes, it's pretty thick, I'll warn you. Okay, $60. For $65, there's this athletic inspired sweatshirt that I think is so cute, okay? And I'm just, I'm lamenting the loss of sweatshirt season because now it's kind of warm, but it looks really cool. There's a lot of color blocking and then check this out. This is actually fully embroidered. I think that's amazing. And then these are all patches. This is like a puffy print, like on spirit jerseys. Let's check the back. Oh, there's a little embroidered Oswald logo right here. That's really nice. I love that. I love all the care and attention that they've been putting to any of the Disney 100 merch. A new graphic tee for men that I think is really cool. The colors are really fantastic. They feel very fresh. And then the shirt is like, it's kind of thick. It's a little bit stiff and it's, it's not like the softest or the finest and it doesn't have a price. I already checked, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be about $37. Okay. Conveniently, because the shirt is thick, the print doesn't feel terrible, but I do like the print. I think the colors are so nice. Wow, today's a very good day for men's clothing because we have two new graphic tees. This one is teal. It looks like, oh yeah, it's like, it's not the softest, but it's like a good weight. And then the graphic right here, we have like a distressed, I love the colors. It's kind of hard to see, but because it's like the light here is really yellow, but these are like a little bit of a subdued rainbow and the castle's looking fabulous. Okay, let's see. No price, I'm gonna guess $37. And probably 37 for this one too. This is a beigey type of color. It's like the same kind of material. And then we have right here, the original Fab Four. Ooh, I like the illustrations that vectorize, kind of like shaded in. Look, it says Dapper Dan's and Disney at the very bottom. There are men's shorts here that are $70, and at first I was wondering why the price was a little bit higher than typical shorts, and it's because it's by Spirit Jersey. You can see the little tag right there, and it has that kind of like heat press patch for Star Wars right there with like an unfinished edge. And then this Star Wars, oh my gosh, I love that like handwritten type of like type right there. It says Star Wars, it's puffy, and then we have Grogu. He's so, wait, what's wrong with his face? I take it back. I was about to say he's so cute. What's happening? I'm not sure. You know what, that's okay. It's still, you know what, it has pockets. And then, no pockets on the back, but I like that it's like a medium gray. There's a new spirit jersey here. There's actually a few new spirit jerseys that have recently come out. I'm gonna try and hunt them down, but this is $79.99. And of course it is Lion King themed and the colors are so fantastic. It's very bold, but in a nice way. And then we have the silhouettes of all those characters. And then on the front, I think it's just Disneyland. Oh no, I take it back. I was wrong. It's the Lion King and look, it has the logo right there more lion king merch so this is a hat it's 30 dollars. it's a tan color and then it has this kind of like it looks like a weathered leather but it's not actually leather and then on the back oh it's the same material and it's a strap back there but then of course it has this print and yes it is printed it's not embroidered but it still looks really nice the scream that I just scrumped was, well, internally it was loud. I came over to the keychain section specifically so I could find this one or the Winnie the Pooh. They also have a stitch one, which I haven't seen in real life, but oh no, Minnie's looking very cute. If you didn't see my other video, I already bought the Mickey keychain and the Pluto keychain. They're $14.99 each and oh Minnie, you're tempting me. You look so cute. Oh, and each of them has a different enamel charm. <gasps> Minnie's is a little bow. She's so precious. 
It's also a very good day when we get new lounge flies and this is a new Toy Story themed one that's very summery. There's an entire collection of like Toy Story summer clothing and accessories. Look at this, it even has like a little coin purse that you can attach to it. I love this, the colors are really bright and then I just, I like the silhouette. I like when they play with the silhouette a little bit. Let's see, is there anything on the back? I will say these straps are gonna be a little bit less comfortable than like a typical lounge fly, like one of those with the padded straps. So just keep that in mind. Okay, $88 and then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna check out the lining. Okay, the lining is cute because it's like, you know, the same summery vibes going on, but I kind of wish that it had been pink, like that really neon-y type of pink. That would have been really cute, but still very adorable all around. And like I said, I just like the unique bags. These are fun. There's another new lounge fly, and this one is also a unique shape. So this is a fanny pack. It's $65 and it features Bruno right there. And in case you're wondering the color, it is kind of like a cool tone brown. And I like that they mixed embroidery. Also the rats that are scattered around it and his like kind of sheepish look, you know, he's, he's Bruno. And then the back, let's see. Ooh, I love the plaque. Look at that. It also has a zipper right back there and it says, we don't talk about Bruno. There's a Disney 100 lounge fly that they released and they have matching ears and this bag actually has like a unique design because there's a pocket right in the front and you can put your ears inside. So it's specifically made for that. I think that's really cool. But now that I see this bag in real life, I think it's very fun. So it has a glitter filled plaque. Although I kind of wish that that had maybe been holographic to match this. So it has like holographic glitter around the edges. It has some side pockets. And then this vegan leather does have like a little bit of metallicness to it. But then what I think is really cool, look at the back straps. They actually are like debossed. So you can see that right there. So it's not just like a print on top, it is debossed into the straps. And I think that's a fabulous detail. This mug is from a home goods collection that came out a little while ago and I love the artwork and I love the color palette. Look, they even have Star Wars, but it's basically like all Disneyland symbols and icons. The Matterhorn, I love this. And it even says Disneyland on the inside, look at that. Okay, let's see, $19.99? No, $16.99. There's been a ton of Enchanted Tiki Room merch that's come out and I've just like missed all of it, but I do know this mug is new and I love that it's a figural mug. Ooh, and it has a satin finish. I despise the feeling of unglazed ceramic. It like, go, it feels like nails on a chalkboard, but this is really adorable. Ooh, and it even looks like it has like cut wood grain into it. This is very, very fun. Okay, $24.99 and it even has the logo on the bottom. It's always an incredible day when we get new ears and we have two new pairs and I already pulled them to the side because well I I have a hard time when I do things with one hand but anyway first these are the Lion King ears and I know more people seem to be excited for these than for these but you tell me which one do you think because I kind of like the Tiki Room ones but anyway these are made out of like a canvasy burlap type of material and then there's embroidery and then they're discernibly puffier than an average ear both the ear and the bow and then I love that it features Simba and Nala on each part of the bow and I mean they're kind of fun but I'm telling you I like the tiki ones a little bit better just a little bit more summery so I love the colors look at this they're like so brightly colored so summery and that enamel dull whip pin in the middle just it feels very refreshing and I love the pattern on the bow and then the ears themselves I mean the colors exquisite the birds look so delightful how fun is this and then it says enchanted tiki room I think on it yeah there's a new bucket hat and this is part of that toy story summer collection and in case you're wondering what color this is it is yellow but it's like a little bit of chartreuse so it is kind of somewhat green and then right here it says chillin and grillin that's kind of fun i like that okay and then it looks like it's reversible and in case you're wondering the price also 45 dollars okay it is reversible and the print on the other side is really fun i see forky he's cut off there unfortunately but so summary are those giant onions <laughs> okay yeah very fun I don't think this is new, but I just want to call it out because it's very cute. Look at it, it's a youth hat and it has a plush Simba on it. I'm, I'm enamored with this. Okay, let's see the price. I think the kids hats are usually like 25, but this one might be a different price. Is it on the top? You're watching me struggle. Okay, $25. 
<laughs> to go alongside all of the new Moana merch that they have. They have a new bucket hat. This has some like raggedy edges and then a silk ribbon around the center and it's not reversible. Okay, so that'll make it a less expensive price. Okay, $35. There's a women's hat here. This one is a silky pink. So the material, see how it's like satiny? Yeah, it's not like a typical kind of like cotton or canvas, but it has really fabulous embroidery. It's very silver. It even has rhinestones. And then I love that D in like a deeper tone silver. Yeah, I'm really into that part. Okay, and then Disneyland is embroidered on the back. They've added to the Mouseworks collection, and to be honest, they came out with so many different items. They came out with sweatshirts, hoodies, sweatpants, shirts, and so many accessories and things. It was huge. So I don't know exactly which items are new, but I can kind of, you know what, I think actually, I take it back. I think all of these are new. Okay, I'll just like kind of run through them. So they have this tank top. It's like, hmm, it's like medium weight, medium soft. And then we have this logo, which is, oh yes. Oh yes, yes, it is not a heat press. It feels very thin. Then it's like part of the material okay all the tank tops are gonna be $35 and then it looks like they also have hoodies and the hoodies I only see it in this pink color it's like a peachy pink Ooh, yes okay this is very thick and a little bit stiff but in that like incredibly heavyweight sweatshirt material and then this is fully embroidered which I love it when they do that the colors look fabulous okay the hoodie is $70, and then they have shorts. They have women's lounge shorts. These are 45, and it looks like they're made out of like a good material, like medium weight, and I like, oh my gosh, yes, the print is thin too. We are all cheering on the inside. They even have pockets, I think, whenever I have lounge stuff. Ooh, I love these details, okay. The Mouseworks collection had this like a tiny piece of like type right there, and it's on all the items, I feel like. Yeah, see? So it's like on the shirt. I think that's fabulous and I love it. And I also love that color. It's like the perfect dustiest lavender. Love it. So they also have men's shorts right here. Oh, and the women's shorts also come in a gray, like a heather gray. No, they're not heathered. They're actually all solid. But yes, okay, the women's shorts also come in gray. And then the men's shorts, I love this. They come in the peachy pink. Oh my gosh, if I was a guy, I would be obsessed with these. This is embroidered, which is a great detail. The Mickey right there. And then the men's shorts have Disneyland on the other leg. They, of course, have pockets. Let's see. $45 and nothing on the back. Well, no pockets, but they do have this little copy block. It's like embroidered on. These are fabulous. So all of the Mouseworks items here, they all go from extra small to 3X, which is fantastic. Although it would be even better if it went up to 4X, right? I think you can maybe get them online, but I'll have to check. But this is a men's t-shirt. This is $40. It is printed, but it's thin. Look at that, isn't that amazing? And then they have these, they look like cropped boxy tees. They are, but okay, this one is a small. It's huge, this is gigantic, so, and it's also thick. Hmm, I take it back. It's like, uh, maybe a little bit thicker than I would want in a crop tee, okay, $40, and then the women's tank also comes in white, this is the colorway, and then the women's shorts also come in like a solid black. And then I think the Mickey's probably gonna be white. Yeah, he's white. For $39.99, there's a new women's shirt here, and it has, ooh, the material is pretty nice. It's like, it has a little bit of stretch in it, so it's not a typical t-shirt material. And then it has cap sleeves, a very wide, wide neck, and then it has this like really colorful, kind of distressed, believe in magic graphic. Ooh, and I like the extra detail of the flag just kind of poking out right there. A new tumbler, and this just reminds me of like a birthday, because it looks like a fun, colorful birthday cake. It's a little bit translucent. Ooh, it has glitter in it we love that and the straw is kind of the best part look at that rainbow and then it says be your own rainbow i love the castle okay oh and look at the design on the back i love how it looks very doodly i love that okay 23 dollars there's a new shoulder pal and i do know that they also have a loki alligator one but i haven't seen it yet i think that one is super popular so i think that these are all 25 dollars this is a boo and look at his little hat and his monkey tail. Oh my gosh, it curls. Okay, he is so cute. And I just can't use shoulder pals because I always wear a backpack, so I miss out on it. And if I did get one, look at this. I would get this one. 
Look at Jiminy Cricket. Look at him. Look at him and his rosy little cheeks and rosy little nose. That's honestly the reason why I would get him is because of his rosy cheeks. I love him. In terms of new magic bands, I am trying to keep a little bit more up to date. Ooh, I know the Kakamura one is new. Look at this. Just in time for summer. He's looking very cute, but also a little bit ferocious, right? And then I don't think I've ever noticed these before, but they do have like the Cartoon Pals collection one right here. And then they have the Mickey and Co collection one. And I think it's actually really cool. It just like occurred to me that you could match your clothing and then like your outfit and stuff. That's very fun. And this one I haven't seen before, but I'm pretty sure this is like gonna be core collection. I like that it has a keyhole right here and it's Tinkerbell themed. And then they do have limited release ones, so this is a Snow White one. I think it's really fun that they did the colors so brightly. It's not the usual like Snow White colors, which I'm really into. And I really like the cartoon illustration of her face. She looks very pretty. And in terms of pricing, so only the plain colored ones are 35 and then the designed ones are between 45 and 55. Here's a look at all of the limited edition pins they have, and this one is new. This just came out. This is for Joey Chu's collection, and it has two layers, so there's the flat artwork in the back, and then Mickey and Pluto are an extra layer on top. This one's very adorable, but then this is catching my eye. I haven't seen this before. Piglet's big movie. Um, I've never even seen that. <laughs> Wait, how cute is this? Actually, wait, no, I take it back. I remember seeing this and the inside is way too adorable. I was not sold. The cover was like kind of meh for me, but look at the inside. I love that. That is very, very precious. They have pride ones out, but I want to say that these are from last year and they just like bumped them up to the top of the shelf. Yeah, this is like a spinner. I swear these are from last year. I remember the gunmetal, but maybe I don't. I don't really recall, but anyway, if you would like pride pins, they have them here. They also have this one. I haven't seen this for the Astro Orbiter, 25 years. There's Mickey. And I know that nobody really is in love with the new artwork, but I actually like it. And so I think Mickey looks very cute right there. came across the street to Disney Clothiers and I'm seeing new women's clothing. So this top right here is really cute. It's a crop tee, like a very boxy crop tee. And this is an extra small. So compared to the mouse work shirt, this is way more appropriate sizing, I feel like. I really like the baby pink color. The material is like pretty decent. And then the Disneyland logo is actually puffy. So you can kind of see it from the side. It has a little bit of texture to it. And then of course the classic castle and that peachy color is really nice. And then let's see the price. Okay, $39.99. For $39.99, there's another very boxy women's crop tee. And I like the color, it's chartreuse. So it's not quite yellow, not quite green. It's somewhere in between. And then, wow, the expression on Tinkerbell is very expressive. Oh, the print's not too thick. It's a little bit thick, but not too thick, okay? And I really like the pattern on it because it's kind of like 60s and I like these little like 60s mod starbursts going on. There's a women's tank top and a baby pink and it has a rolled collar right there I think that detail is really nice. It makes it a little bit more It gives it a little bit something extra and then it says chasing the fun. Oh, the print isn't thick We love it especially because this material is stretchy You see how stretchy it is and it's kind of like not silky But it's just like there definitely is like a good amount of stretch in it and it has like a high Low bottom right there. So the bottom is a little bit longer than the front these shorts are $37 and I actually really enjoy the size because typically Disney shorts for me are sized really big and I would fit into like an extra small. So these are extra small, but they also look a little bit shorter than they typically are, which I also enjoy because sometimes the shorts are a little bit too long for me and they have pockets. And then this is very subtle, which I do enjoy that little distressed castle. I wonder if there's anything on the back. There isn't, there isn't even like a Disneyland or anything. So very subtle and I love the color. This is the other spirit jersey that I was looking for. So it's $80, it's stitch themed, it's sky blue. It has a lot of nice tie dye patterning going on and then stitch on the front. He's playing the ukulele with his little lay. He looks like he's very happy. <laughs> and then on the back, it's the Disneyland logo with like a hard white drop shadow. And then we have Stitch right here. And he's looking like he is having a great time. He is so ready for summer. I am not, but he is. He's perpetually ready for summer. 
a new men's button up and this is the Toy Story Chillin' Summer Collection. And yes, those are some giant onions. I think that's really funny. Okay, it even has a special hang tag. Oh, the hang tag is cute. Okay, I'm gonna check. Ooh, it has rolled sleeves. Oh no, it's just like the hem is detailed like that. I got excited for a second. <laughs> Okay, so $59.99 and then let's do a test. <gasps> Wait, before we do that, look at Rex. That patch is really adorable. That little woven piece right there. Okay, it's a little bit stiff, okay? A little bit stiff and... You know, it's like the typical like middle range quality of button up shirts at Disney. I love the color of this shirt. It is so summery. So this is an enchanted tiki room shirt. It's also a little bit stiff, but maybe a little bit better than this one. Yeah, it's a little bit thinner and a little bit more, just like a little bit more flowy than the other one. I love the buttons. Look at that. They don't quite have like a wood grain detail, but they're just like, they look like enamel, very shiny brown. Tiki room is embroidered and then this this plant right here is printed inside the pocket. By the way, $59.99. <laughs> Today is quite the day for men's clothing. I am very excited. Okay, so this is another Enchanted Tiki Room shirt and I checked the price. Okay, so this is $59.99. The other ones are $59.99, but the quality of this material is infinitely better. Do you see how this one has like a little bit of drape to it? This one is stiff, like look, no drape. <laughs> and then right here, it has a patch that has embroidery on it. No, it's not really embroidered, it's just woven, but the print kind of fades down. The color is also exquisite. It's like a nice neutral. And then the buttons are just like a light gray, but wow, I'm actually impressed with the quality of this shirt, especially when you compare it to the other two. There's a new hat for $30. This is Star Wars themed and I cannot wait to see all of the new Star Wars stuff coming out for Star Wars month. I haven't seen any of it, even online. And I'm just, I wanna be surprised, but this is pleasantly cute. Look, it has dueling lightsabers embroidered on the front. And then that Star Wars logo with the cute hand-drawn bubble letters is also embroidered. Love this. And yeah, $30. I came over to the Disneyland Hotel, which is always so calm, so quiet, and the Fantasia shop also is always very calm and very quiet. And it looks like they have a huge Moana collection, like so many items. So I guess I'll start right over here. This looks like it's a women's tee, or maybe this is a men's tee. Yeah, this is a men's shirt. Okay, so it's $39.99. It's a nice teal color. It's relatively thick. It's not that it's like stiff or low quality like the fabric. It's just that it's like kind of thick. And then there's embroidery right here. And then this print, the print also feels thick. But because the shirt is too, it kind of can like hold up. The shirt can like hold a thicker print. Yeah, you can see it in the reflection right there. There's a men's button up right here and I already touched it. Oh, it's also $60. Okay, I touched it. The fabric is really stiff. <laughs> Not the most comfortable, but I do love that we have Kakamura just like hidden inside the print. I think that's fantastic. There is a very large and very plush throw pillow right here. I like the way that it's woven and I like the color. This is like a very bright pink. And let's see, is there a design on the back? Oh no, but it's very fuzzy. Do you see that texture? Very fuzzy. Okay, so $40 for this. There's this mug and I think it's so silly. Are you slightly intimidated by his kind of ferocious face? I mean, maybe, <laughs> but okay, let's see. $24.99 and I like that it has a lid on it so you can, you know, keep your tea, keep your coffee hot. There's a canvas tote bag right here and I like that it has this tassel with the beads on it and this is printed on and then this is like a Safiano leather type of texture on the faux leather straps. Ooh, and then look at this. It has like ribbon right here. Very cool. And then this is a patch, like a little applique. I wanted to give you an idea on like how big it is exactly, but first off, there's a little zippered pocket on the inside and then you can see at the bottom, it's not like a flat bag. So it could hold a little bit more. This would actually be a great beach tote. There's a women's hoodie right here and it's slightly cropped, not like too cropped, but slightly. And it has like an unfinished hem right there. And then there's Moana. It's like, hmm, it's not the thickest, but it's not the thinnest. But then what I do like about it, first off, I love the color. It's kind of like almost neon coral. And then it has like flowers right here. See how they like flip the fabric around so you could get like a different texture. And then 
like just embroidered leaves and things that's really pretty Ooh, and the sleeves seem like they kind of like balloon out ever so slightly and then i like the drawstring look at that what a fun detail for twenty dollars yeah this is twenty dollars actually i'm really why am i so surprised by this i think maybe because the tote bag is fifty dollars maybe this was tagged incorrectly but it's a full bucket bag like a very large bucket bag with a drawstring at the top and then the print is really nice i like the camel colored straps but then look at moana down here it's glittery isn't that really cool so yeah i don't know why this is tagged at 20 dollars. that doesn't make sense to me i'm sure they're gonna correct it soon so I think that's gonna do it on our little merch day. And you know what? I didn't even find all of the merch. I, yes, my MO was to find it all, but yet I did not. There's still more to find. And also some stuff was sold out, and so I wasn't able to show it to you, like the Joey Chu lounge fly. That has been a very hot item, and I didn't find it at World of Disney or inside of Disneyland, but you know, all is well in the world of merch. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I hope you guys had fun coming along, and I hope you saw things that you liked but either way i will catch you in the next one okay see ya